Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today is Monday. Yesterday I made barbecue chicken. I marinated it first. It turned out so, so good. I want to show you today what I am going to do with the leftover chicken and how I am going to throw together another dinner. Let's go. So I have some bacon to use up. I am just getting that cooked and rendering the bacon fat. And we are done. These are done. I'm going to get these out of the pan. Maybe not that one. I did add a little bit of oil in the pan because I am going to make a pot of chili with this rendered fat. So that's why I also added a little bit of oil to it. And I want to show you what I am going to do with the leftover chicken from yesterday, from Sunday's dinner. And we're going to do it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer the rendered fat into the pot that I'm going to make my chili in. So that is ready to go. We'll revisit this a little later when I'm ready to pull together the chili. So what I wanna do for tonight's dinner is take this bacon and make some sandwiches out of them, BLTs or bacon and tomato. I like bacon, tomato, and cucumber, but whatever kind of sandwiches my family wants to create with this bacon, that's my plan. And also I want to take the leftover barbecue chicken that I made yesterday get that all chopped up and make a chicken salad out of it. And we can also have some sandwiches using the chicken salad to go with our chili tonight. So basically chili and sandwiches is what I want to do for tonight's dinner. And I wanna show you how I'm going to just pull it all together. So here is the leftover barbecue chicken. I'm going to take, I have some boneless skinless thighs that I made and I have the video on this also if you want to see how exactly I did this barbecue chicken and I will link it in the description box down below. But I have some boneless skinless thighs that I used and I also have bone on skin on. I'm just going to get all this meat chopped up and into a bowl. Okay, so now I have a nice amount of chicken chopped up. I would say at least a couple of cups. I'm approximating, I'm estimating. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'll be back to chop up some vegetables for the chicken salad as well as for the chili. I wanna start out with the red onion because I wanna put red onion in the chicken salad. I'll use some of this for the chicken salad I'll use the rest of it for the chili, and if I need more, I'll start cutting into this. I think that's all I'm going to use. Oh, my eyes. Now I am going to just chop up the rest of this for the chili. I don't care if that's a little bit bigger. I'm just going to put this right into that pot that we are cooking the chili in. I decided not to cut up any of that white onion and just save it. I am going to use all of the celery in the chicken salad because I really like a lot of 
crunch and a lot of celery. So it's all going in. And then I'm going to cut up more celery for the chili. So this is what our chicken salad bowl is looking like now. I'm going to use this much celery for the chili. I would use it all, but I want to save some because then I'll be all out. I might want it for another meal this week or need it. So I'm going to save some in my very favorite reusable silicone bags. I also got this out, uh, jalapeno. I won't use all of it, but I'm going to probably use half of it in the chili. Today for the chili, I'm using a pound of ground beef and about a quarter of a pound of spicy sausage. And I don't want to use too much of this, but I'm going to use part of it and some green pepper that I need to get out. Before I do that, let's put this in the pot that I'm going to make the chili in. Before I move forward with the jalapeno and the green pepper for the pot of chili, I just want to finish up the chicken salad and get this in the refrigerator and chilling. To this, I'm going to add salt and pepper. The chicken is pretty salty. Um, if you saw the video from yesterday's barbecue chicken dinner, you'll see the marinade had some salt to it. So I don't want to use a ton of salt in this. So I'm gonna go a little light and then pepper, of course. I've talked about this a hundred times, but Hellman's olive oil mayo. Okay, next up, I am going to get the green pepper and some jalapeno chopped up for the chili. Let's throw these into the pot. even ready to start cooking this yet but I like just that we've got everything chopped up and ready to go and when we are ready this will come together so quickly. I am going to chop up some garlic and just get that in there. This was the last thing I had to chop up. Garlic going in. And just like that we have our dinner prepped and we are almost done. And it's not even noon yet. I forgot to mention why I am making chili today. It's April in Michigan. Yesterday it was 80 degrees. Today it's 38 and we have snow flurries. So we are back to cold weather and I just thought chili sounded good. Let's get cooking. Just going to push these vegetables out of the way for a minute.
trying to break up the sausage to get some nice brown color on the meat. I'm trying to develop some umami before I mix it all together. Salt. Pepper. Smells fantastic. Chili powder. Cumin. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat back on and head it off. I added in, you didn't see it, but two cans of tomato. I did one can of stewed tomatoes and one can of crushed because that's what I had. And then I added in one can of dark red kidney beans, did not drain that, and a tablespoon of sugar. And that is it. Dinner is done. I am just going to let this simmer on and off for a couple of hours and get this all blended together. But that is it. In no time at all, we have a nice pot of chili made. We have bacon ready to make sandwiches and a beautiful chicken salad to also make sandwiches with to go with this beautiful pot of chili. I love sandwiches so much. It's not dinner time here yet, but I am dying to give the chicken salad sandwich a try. Here is what it looks like. Oh my God. I can tell by looking in the camera that the lighting is really off. Hold on. Okay. Wow. That is so good. That chicken was so good last night. The flavor of the marinade and then the barbecue sauce. I knew it was going to make excellent chicken salad. It only makes sense, but my God, is this good. Mm. The crunch, the onions, celery, perfect. I was also thinking about putting a piece of Swiss cheese on here which I still might do, but I really wanted to give this a try first without it. So it's phenomenal. And how simple and quick was this to do? And a perfect thing to do with leftover chicken because oftentimes that just would, you know, sit in the refrigerator. Who really is going to heat up chicken like already on the bone? 
I don't know. I just, I don't know what I'm saying. Now I'm rambling, but this is phenomenal. I highly recommend the barbecue chicken recipe to start with. And then if you have any leftover to do this, I'm not going to say it. Well, I am going to say it. It's so good. Let's move on and give the chili a taste test. Okay. I'm back. I just have a little bit in the bottom of the bowl because I don't want to spoil my whole dinner, but I do want to give this a taste test and see if we need to make any adjustments. Mmm, yes. I can already tell. Mmm, mmm. Wow. It's good. It's perfect. It's so, you know what? Wow. This is amazing. I mean, I love chili and I don't know about you, comment down below, but I feel like I make every batch of chili just slightly different. I just never really seem to duplicate the recipe exactly from the time before. It just always varies a little bit. I don't know why. Mm. I'm trying to think why I think this is so good. It's got the perfect amount of heat the undertone of the bacon that I started everything in, you don't notice, you know, bacon doesn't like, isn't like, you're not like, oh my God, bacon, but it just gives it really good flavor. And I'm trying to think what else I notice. <laughs> Let me taste it one more time. It's just really, really good. I don't know what else to say, except try this exact recipe. This is a good one. Like I will come back to this video myself to see what I did the next time I go to make chili because this is a batch and I have those. I often will write notes and write it down when I make a really good batch of chili. This is one of those where I'm just going to go back and reference my own video. This one, Yes, whatever I did, I recommend you do it. And also this whole dinner was another one of those where I was just using ingredients and leftovers and everything that I just already had on hand, already had in my pantry and it turned out phenomenal. So if I can do it, you can do it. Friends, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in the kitchen today, I certainly, appreciate and I'm so grateful for you. If you like this video, I can put another one right here for you to check out. Please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.